Yeah, there's so many things just in sports itself um, that, that, that I learned here was, you know, um, time management's a, a big one, you know, as a student athlete that uh, you, you know, you've, you've got practices and things that, that go on that people don't see out, outside of the games every day from weightlifting to running to, to team meetings to things like that, especially with, I know football players even have more with film study and thing like that, things like that. Um, Perseverance, you know, there's there's ups and downs uh, of, of times where you're sitting the bench and you want to be out there playing and you're not and f finding a way what you can do better to uh, to excel out on the field and get that opportunity. Um, and camaraderie is, is a huge part that, that I've you know learned a lot from a team aspect and taken into the business world and now as a, as a coach um, in, in the Indians organization of of working with people. I couldn't have been any more happy with, with the way things went, other than maybe I was a little bit better student, got a little bit better grades. But um, from an education standpoint, the way the, the professors you know, pushed us to excel and, do the, and get everything out of, of us that they could, and at the same time, you know, working with us on understanding that you know, there's, there's some parts of, the, parts of being a student athlete to where we had other things to do that other students did it. But as long as we, you know, worked hard, did our job, and, and came to class and, and participated, that uh, that they were in full support of us. And you know, there were several that would come out to games a lot and things like that, and really support the team, which you know made us feel good and, and made you know made us in the classroom want to even even excel that much more. And really, it's it's just about in, in any other business, interpersonal relationships, letting them, letting each player understand that we're there for them. You know, this is. This is not, I already had my chance to play. You know, those days are long gone. I want, I want them, I want to impact them and, and our staff to help them in any way we can for them to realize their dreams and be able to become a big leaguer and, and you know, not only from a financial standpoint and help their family, but from a standpoint of being part of a team that, that wins everything. It's a, there's no feeling, I only won one championship in 10 years of playing um, and was in the playoffs, I think, seven or eight other times. So it just speaks to how hard it is to, to, to do and how rewarding it is when, once it does happen. I usually I get to the ballpark between 11 and noon or so. Um, you know, there's always things every day that come, that come up, whether from media, media obligations or something that happens with a player, somebody's injured or something you don't expect. So you always want to leave enough time. So I try to get there fairly early. Um, I get a little workout in usually uh, in the morning uh, or, or right around lunchtime, grab a bite to eat at the park. And then usually players start rolling in anywhere between about one and three, depending on what their responsibilities are that day. And so they'll do either early hitting in the cage, early ground balls on the field, fly balls on the field, catching drills if they're a catcher, pitching work if they're a pitcher. Um, and so we're there as a staff to, uh, to help them through that. And then usually on the field, everybody's on as a team, depending on whether you're home or away, um, for an hour to an hour and a half, uh, usually starting around 2.30 or 3 o'clock at home or 4, 4.30 on the road up until an hour or so before the game. Play the game, let's say it's a 7.05 start, so that goes about average three hours these days. <laughs> so that takes you to about 10 o'clock. And then media obli obligations after the game, and then reports. So we have, every organization has different reporting tools, but we have a reporting, an intra web um, reporting system. And so that usually takes me till about, till about midnight or so. So it's, it's about, a, about a 12 to 13 hour day, but it's, being around a game that I love and, and more importantly than that around players that, that, that um, I want to help um, realize their dreams and, and again impact our big league team to, to win a World Series. That's, that's at the end of the day what we're all hired for the organizations. Obviously me with the Cleveland Indians and other teams with their organizations are those big league coaches and managers get paid to win. <laughs> and so our job is to develop our players to get them close to as big league ready as, as soon as we can. I think be as well balanced as you can. You know that you know you love you love a game. Obviously, if it's baseball, there's obviously kids that love basketball, soccer, whatever it may be, or just a, you know all around good student. Don't you know? Don't forget about why you're here. This is for college. You need an education. You know, it's very hard. The percentages you can look them up are low on people that make it to the, the the big leagues in any in any sport, whether that be NBA, NFL, MLB, hockey, NHL. It's hard, you know, it's very hard. So you want to make sure you, you, you take care of your education, number one. And number two, in, in those interpersonal relationships, how you, how you deal with people, how you treat people, really expands to the rest of your life. You know, it's something I've done my whole life since I was five years old, I was a ba involved in baseball and it's something that I have a passion for. It's, it's in my heart, it's in my blood, and it's what I enjoy doing.